Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at The Unreal World, Gen 13, by Michael Heisler and Humberto Ramos. So, hit that subscribe button while I cue the intro, and we'll be right back. It's Troy TV. All right, so this one's fun and cool. Gen 13, who didn't love Gen 13 in the 90s? I thought they were a fun, great group. Lots of great art. This was a fun special here. I think it was just one and not a mini series, but The Unreal World. Humberto Ramos, we all know him from, uh, I was introduced to his work on, uh, what do you call it, Impulse. And then of course he did Crimson, his own creator, own story. You know, he's done the X-Men, he's done DB8. I mean, he's done all kinds of work. Uh, I think he's doing Strange Academy now and just always killing it. He has a super cartoony um, sort of anime style, really fun. Um, he has kind of wonky anatomy, like big hands and things like that. So whatever. So this is written by Michael Heisler, who is normally, uh, who... I shouldn't say normally, but he, I know him more as a letterer. And I have to say, I love when a letterer or, you know, somebody who does something else in comics gets the opportunity to either write or draw. Because I feel like probably nine times out of 10, most people want to make comics so they can draw them. And the other people want to write them. So you know, sometimes you discover that maybe you're not the quickest or the best writer or artist. So sometimes you become an inker because maybe you're better at that or a colorist because you're better at that or you're faster, you know, and they, or you have the opportunity. But I feel like, you know, uh, it's cool when somebody does something different and they do it well. I remember this being pretty cool. Gen 13, uh, they're located in La Jolla, California, which is cool because I live in Cali. So uh, La Jolla is awesome if you've never been there. It's really beautiful. So I guess Caitlin is being a waitress here. All right, did we go? So uh, Michael Heisler's story, Umberto Ramos, pencils, Troy Hubs, inks, Wendy Fouts, colors, and Bill O'Neill letters. This story takes place before Gen 13, number eight. Not that that'll mean anything to us, but... I always thought Gen 13 was fun. I always like free fall. It's funny that she smokes. I mean, that's kind of horrifying. Like, um, you can't even smoke in a Marvel comic anymore. They banned that years ago. That's why Wolverine doesn't smoke. But I'm not sure if DC does that as well, but I don't think so. I mean, can you really have a Hellblazer comic without him smoking? Probably. They probably don't do it anymore. I mean, even though that the demographic for comic books is, you know probably 25 to 50 year old, uh, white males. Um, I still think it's a bad idea to promote smoking, even if it's a bad guy doing it, just like, don't even put the idea in kids' heads. Um, am I square? Sure. Why not? But, um, ODVI8, see, that's what I was talking about. Now that was fun. That's like, uh, the anti Gen 13. It seems a little darker and, um, grittier. I love that uh, even though Umberto Ramos drew it, he put J. Campbell Scott's signature in the back in huge graffiti. Like, why would you want to advertise his, him and make people think that he drew it, even though I know better? This is a cool looking character. I like the art in here. It's fun. This is just, and we got nuns and grunge and free fall and burnout. Have we seen them all yet? I love that they made the strong man of the team a female. I thought that that was like a smart move to begin with. I don't know if She-Hulk was any influence or not. I think She-Hulk was pretty groundbreaking and play, paved the way for uh, strong women, you know, to have uh, 
uh, the theme a female be the muscle of the team is such a great idea. Just a fun little twist there. And why not, right? I mean, why can't why can't a female become gamma iridated or mutated or have toxic waste dumped on her just as easily as a man and turn into, you know, a big giant super strong hero? They can. That looks like a cool villain. I don't know. This is just like a special, the Unreal World. So I don't know. It's just fun to have some cool art by Umberto Ramos. And um, so that was Gen 13, the Unreal World. If you're a big fan of Gen 13, and you should be, um, I'm sure you can find this cheap. Um, if you're a completist and feel like checking it out, if you're just a big fan of Umberto Ramos, uh, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, subscribe. Oh, no, I already said subscribe. Share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right, thanks, guys.